What's up guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. This is probably the most important information about the Tyro 109. We did a master build series last week and I went through every single step for the entire build process. And we just built it start to finish as we would regularly do. And I did not turn on my quad um, and check out my OSD and my camera settings before I ended on the video. So uh, some information came out late last week that there is a problem with your camera, your CADEX camera plugging into the flight controller. Yes, that is the port for the camera, but the CADEX EOS 2 camera only is able to take around 3.3 volts. So the harness is outputting 10 volts and uh, some awesome person went on there and made a comment about that and it slipped by me. So now I'm making this update video for you guys. If you are building your Tyro 109, by all means, before you plug in your battery, uh, outside your smoke stopper, we want to make sure that you reroute the red wire coming from your camera to a three volt tab. We're gonna take this apart. I'm gonna show you how to take that wire out of its harness and we're gonna reroute it with our soldering iron to a three volt, volt tab. So I will show you where that three volt tab is and we will get our CADEX EOS 2 camera working. Very important for this build. Here we go. Okay, so first things first, look on the very bottom of your flight controller. This is the very front facing forward. This is the very back. What we're gonna have to do here to make this fix is we're gonna have to disconnect the red wire from the camera, the little harness. You're gonna unplug that from the front. Just take a razor blade and pull it out and you're gonna solder it to this tab right here, 3.3 volt tab right here. It's the same row where your receiver is soldered on. We're just gonna run that wire to it. And right now I'm just gonna tin it up, get it ready. It only takes a little tiny bit of solder there momentarily. Try not to bridge anything next door to it. If you see anything bridging over, just redo it. And that looks okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take the wire off now. Just grab yourself a razor blade or something that you can poke into the harness. I've got a pair of needle nose or a pair of uh, snips here. so. Just gonna use this pair of snips and take this red wire out. Okay, go ahead and pull that out of the harness and you're gonna snip the end of that off. Okay, snip it and then we're gonna tin it. Now hopefully this wire reaches back. So we're gonna go ahead and untwist this to make it as long as we possibly can get it and it's gonna be running underneath like this back toward where it needs to be plugged into. So let's go ahead and tin it up. I'll get a little more solder on the tip of my iron, clean that off. Just put a little bit of solder on there and you're gonna solder it down to that three volt tab there. So we know we want it to go like that. And you're gonna lay it flat on the board Go ahead and solder that right down. And we're gonna do a check to make sure that this is going to be a fix for it, but I know it will be because this tab is outputting 3.3 volt, which is what your camera wants, okay? So now it's soldered on, and you can take this and plug this back into the harness here on the top. You're gonna bring that under, just like that. It's gonna be a tight fit, but this is gonna work because otherwise it will not work. Okay, ground video can go right back into that slot right there. And then you're gonna mount it right back on top of everything. So I'm just gonna spin this back around. Okay, you're gonna bring that red wire underneath and up front. And we're gonna tuck these back this direction, put our VTX back on, and let's go ahead and grab a smoke stopper and see if we have video. Okay, so I have my goggles on right now and they're recording. You probably should see some static on the screen. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the quad. I could not find my smoke stopper, so I'm hoping to have faith that this doesn't go up in smoke. And gonna look in the goggles and we have OSD and we have the CADEX camera working. So very important for this build absolutely make sure that you do this 
Um, otherwise, your Cadex camera will not be working and you'll see OSD in a black screen. Uh, the good news is that you're not going to kill your camera. It didn't kill it, but it does not work if you plug it into the harness that eSheen provided on this flight controller. So um, do this fix and your camera will work. Thanks again for watching my channel, you guys. Please do subscribe for all the latest builds, updates, reviews, and tutorials. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.